Good morning. It's Roz and Yuka. Jay here from Newspage. How are you doing, Jay? Good morning. I'm doing fine, thanks. I've already done the school run. I'm two hours ahead of you. I'm talking to you today from Finland. So, uh, so oh. it's already, yeah, it's, it's, uh, you're, you're up early. Yeah, well, I mean, this is a normal day when it comes to content because a lot of it, you know, gets done early in the morning. So thank you so much for meeting me this morning. Um, so you're in Finland. You're actually Finnish, aren't you? Yeah, but as you can tell from the accent, I've uh, I've been elsewhere as well. So I grew up in the UK. I spent my child in London. I'm a South Londoner. So, uh, but <laughs> now, right now, I am I'm in, uh, in 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 Finland. Oh, amazing! So for anyone tuning in, uh, if you don't know this face, you may know Newspage, and uh, Yuka is the founder of uh, Newspage, and he's going to tell us a bit about it. So I've invited him here because, from my point of view and my business point of view. He's helped and the team, Dominic, Newspage, the whole team have helped actually a, a few of my clients get in the press. So I found out about Newspage and how this was a great way for SMEs to uh, get their name in the press. You know how sometimes you just watch the news and you just always think it's those big firms that, uh, you know, get spoken to and that get the limelight. But actually, this is quite the opposite. This is about helping SMEs get their names out there. So I helped my SME clients and refer them to Newspage, help them set up a profile, uh, just so that they could get the, their name out there in the press a bit more, especially with all this mortgage stuff that's going on, let's just call it stuff. Um, so here we are. Jay, are you gonna tell us a little bit about Newspage, how you founded it, how you started it, and anything that we might not know? You know don't assume anything. We, we probably don't know as much as you think we know. <laughs> Okay, so Newspage was originally started by Dominic Hyatt. It's his idea. He's the, he's the founder. And uh, I've known Dominic for quite some time. And then once he'd kind of come up with the idea and started testing and building it, he brought me in, uh, in, in as well. And I joined full time, actually, in November. So just a few months into the, into the job full time. So Dominic's really done the hard work of building and, and, and creating Newspage. So what is it the Newspage does? We get you into the media. So the difference to advertising is that we get you featured in the media news articles we'll get you on the radio on the tv in your local press or in the national press and that's where you get mentioned and featured for your expertise and we do this for, for smes or I small mean, and medium-sized enterprises if, if if the acronym is not uh, known to everyone yes exactly so apologies dominic he's he, i know i should have known that this was your idea and you started it and we've spoken quite a few times apologies for the um misintroduction there but uh yeah so dominic was the one that i reached out to on um linkedin and we had a one-to-one -one, we had a, a video call and uh he helped me get some of my clients registered and signed up which was a huge help and now you know he manages those relationships with, which has been amazing but um, how do we actually use Newspage? Like, just talk me through from registration to actually getting in the press, because a lot of people think they might want to be in the press, but actually it's quite daunting. So what, what's the step-by-step -step process? Well, first of all, there's nothing to fear. It's, it's actually quite easy to get you into the media. We can talk a bit, little bit about why it's so easy to get SMEs and mortgage brokers and, and, and financial advisors in, into the media a bit, a bit later. But in, you simply sign up and there's two ways that we get you into the media. So if there's breaking news, for example, just before we started this call, I was actually on a call with Dominic. And, and the reason he's, I'm here and he's not is that he's working on, on, uh, on some data that's com coming out now. There's house price index coming out later this week. I think it was inflation. It was interest rates are com coming out. So what we do is we will send out because we know the, new, uh, the media is going to cover these, uh, these subjects. We send out what is what we call a news alert. So if you're signed up to Newspage, you get this into your email and it's based on your expertise. So, for example, if you're a mortgage broker, you know, there's house price uh, data comes out. You will get this news alert into your email and you're asked for your views. We, put, we have a few questions there or the journalists can also send these out. They'll put a few questions in there and you can just log in and write your response. No essays, no, you don't need to write war and peace. Actually, you can't because we've got a character count there. What they're looking for is small, short uh, snippets of views from you on your area of expertise. So you just go in and, and, and you type your, your opinions. And uh, then the, the journalists, they will go in and have a look at the newsletter and there'll be all these responses. Because 
news articles tend to be quite formulaic, right? Something happens and get me a few quotes from, from some experts. So they'll look through and go, this is good, this is good, I'll use this one, I'll use this one, and I'll use this one. And that's it. So you get the opportunity to be in the press. Sometimes your quotes will get picked up, sometimes they won't. And how can we make that a little bit more strategic? How can we ensure that we are not just commenting for the sake of commenting, that we're just putting something there? I'm, I'm sure you guys would appreciate something quite meaty, quite, you know, valuable. How can we make it more engaging and interesting when we comment? So if we look at it from the user's perspective, okay, it's great that you're in the media, but then the question is, what do you do with that, right? What's, what's, what's your actual point of doing PR? Well, I think there's two reasons for that. One is to generate leads, regardless of business, right? Generate leads and then close deals. And this is where PR can help, help you, right? So that's the kind of strategic side of it. So what do you do once you're quoted in The Guardian? Okay, that's great. It might generate leads. Somebody might read it and go, hang on. This, that, that, that's interesting. They probably know what they're talking about. They might pick up the phone or send you an email. email. But you can also use that, and you should, in your own on your website once you've been featured in the, in the media, because that's a credibility marker. That's instant credibility. But also use it on your social media. Yeah, for your corporate site, for your personal social media. Most, most brokers, for example, are on LinkedIn. You can then expand on that, for example. I mean, that you can... The easiest thing is to say, look, I was uh, in the Financial Times. But even better, because you're going to have one kind of quote. Now we're talking about these news alerts. We can talk about features and how to get like a whole article in there separately. But just for these news alerts, you're going to have a, a short quote there. You can expand on that opinion then in your own social media pro profile on LinkedIn, for example. I said this in the Financial Times and so and so and so and so and what i want to really highlight is this that and that and the other so you can use this publicity that you get in many ways in social media on your website and the great thing thing of it is it's got a really really long shelf life if you were quoted in the in the financial times today it's just as relevant 12 months down the line that the fact that you've been been quoted and one more thing on the strategic side is you want to do this regularly right if you've got a whole portfolio or whatever you want, want, want to call it that you've been in the local press you've been on the radio and you can show this on your website yeah for anyone any potential client that's very reassuring and it adds to your credibility Honestly, exactly what I've been preaching to my clients that it's not just about getting on social media and doing just a couple of TikToks and a little bit of a dance. You know, you've got to have some of the what you call it, the credibility stamp. I actually call it a, a trust tag, like that tag, that trust tag that says this guy, this lady, this team, this firm really has weight to what they're saying yes they're having fun on tiktok yes they you know they put out there a few uh, photos of their dogs but actually they're in the press they're in the media they know what they're talking about and so yeah that's called a trust tag in in my um consultancy when i talk to my clients and absolutely right i'm going to echo those comments about you can do more with that post because it's about repurposing your content and giving it more longevity so yes you've been featured in the press, you've been on The Guardian, but actually transferring that over to your website, transferring that over to an email list, you know, say, you know, notifying your, your existing clients of your existing uh, article, turning that into mini posts on social media. So always repurposing, because once we've seen it once, uh, we actually forget about it. So you just got to constantly bang that same drum and remind people of, you know, your, your knowledge. But I really want to ask about getting PR ready, because I know that 99% of my clients, when they come to me, even if they've been running their business for 20 years, can you believe that they haven't got professional photographs or updated ones anyway? Um, not that their brand kit is not complete. You know, they haven't got the right logos in place and things like that. Can you give us a little bit of advice on how to get PR ready? Because if you if you imagine you put a comment on news page, if that actually has legs and it goes somewhere, I'm actually worried for some of these brokers who will get invited to go on the Financial Times or The Guardian, but got nothing ready. So they lose that opportunity. How can we prepare for that? Great question. And we face this problem all the time. Just, just the basic thing. Somebody does a, gives a great quote, right? And the journalist thinks, actually, I'm going to do a follow-up article on this. I want to hear more from this uh, this broker. 
and then they'll want a photograph. So then we then they we won't have they might have signed up to news paging because we all we need is your all you need to use is your email. Then they haven't put their phone number. Right. We need to get in touch with you now. And then we don't have a phone number for you. They want to use your picture. We don't have a picture of you of you. So what you want to do is we actually offer this media pack It's all free. You just sign up to news page. You can upload your your pictures where the journalists can then use your photo if they choose to to use it. Right. Again, you get much more. Uh, much more space on the page, much more column space when they use use your fo photo. So have the, your photos ready. You can upload them there. Obviously, have your uh, contact details up to date. So you've got one URL where the journalists can go and they can get all this information uh, immediately. And one kind of tip I tend tend to to give is when you put photos, have two photo uh, photos, right? One where you're smiling and everything is good and great, and one where you're you don't have to be sad, but be serious. But I mean, if we have if we have a, some terrible event in 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 the market, right? And your only yeah. picture is is you smiling like this, yeah, it sends the wrong, wrong dynamic. So when when it's you know, so they have that option of if it's a serious subject, then it, you know there's a, there's a more serious when you're not enjoying everybody's suffering or something like that. Because you know when things go bad. When things go bad, that that that's news, right? And you want to be there, be there, reassuring people and giving them your expertise. But then it's you know it's a serious subject, then have a serious face. So that's that's kind of like that's a like really a good. pro tip. That's amazing advice because actually I think I need a serious picture. You've just reminded me that I think I'm in like in all my pictures I've got like a yellow dress and I'm like all glam. And actually I need something. I think my job is not actually serious. Like I don't actually do anything that's really you know, sad and, and uh, gloomy. But at the end of the day, you know, my life is not just all, you know, roses. But, um, but you know, sorry to interrupt, but, but for example, in your, your case, right, you do you do me media, right? There could be some kind of news event that ha ha happens in the media, which is extremely neg negative, but has wide implications, right? And you might be asked for your expertise on, on that as an analyst or as an yeah. expert to give your yeah. view. And then, yes, it should be... They, they, you should look you give it the necessary gravitas and importance of it and that's not oh. you on holiday going yay you know so it, no you've just reminded me that i'm having a photo shoot in february because long story short that today's not about me but obviously i started my business during a pandemic so i couldn't really set up all my nice gadget and lovely things that i wanted to set up like photos websites so i'm now rebranding and doing it all and i'm considering you know very seriously how i want my pictures to look and I haven't had them taken yet, but now I'm definitely going to consider, you know, looking a little bit more composed and a bit more serious, because when I do need to give a statement out, that's a little bit more um, neutral or even it's a bit um, yeah, ne negative, as you say. I don't want to be like, you know, just mm. uh, dancing around. So I don't want to put this plug in. It's just because it's just in case anyone is listening and they're thinking, oh, my gosh, I haven't got this ready. I'm not going to plug it in just because I'm trying to, you know, sell something. But. This is exactly what we do with our brokers. If they are not PR ready, gosh, some of them aren't even social media ready, right? They're not even ready to go out there and just post just to their friends and family. So that's exactly how we set them up. And hopefully you'll be able to see the benefits of that once they sign up to news page. You should be able to see that my clients have, you know, the right logos, the right, um, you know, we might recreate a logo for them. We give them a color palette. We then do photo shoots with them if they haven't got photos. So we kind of try and get them ready as an all-rounded person, not just for TikTok, we try and get them ready for the media because you just never know how far your post could go, right? And eventually mm -hmm. you might get asked to speak. And so you need to I always say, you need to become the person you want to be and that you want to be considered as before you need to be. So who do you want to be? How do you want to yeah. be seen? And be ready. Just be like, I've been ready for this moment. I've been ready to speak. Now let's talk about the speaking side. Now, this is what I was saying. They think they want to be in the press. So mm -hmm. they're like, oh, yeah, this would be really good for my business. Leads, 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 leads. But can you actually be in the press? Like, are you, can you talk? Can you, you know, sustain, a, you know, can you handle an interview? Can you handle a radio? How have you found that? Have you found that some people might have been able to get past the comment and then... I don't know. Yeah, I get the question, and the yeah. answer is quite reassuring. And it's, it's, it's. I haven't seen anyone bomb, right? I haven't. Okay. If if you 
use brokers as an example again, right? You deal with clients on a daily basis. You're having discussions with people on a daily basis, and you're talking about quite complex issues such as mortgages, which have all kinds of legal implications and financial implications. And you need to discuss it with someone who doesn't understand that, right? So you are by you know, if you're making a living at it, you're probably pretty good at explaining complex things in a simple way. So from that perspective, you're actually ready. Yeah, we've had loads and loads. We've had uh, loads on Sky News. We've had local radio uh, bro brokers and they all do fine. I think it's it's a personal thing, right? Just don't get too nervous. Don't think of it that too much. And to use a cliche, be yourself, because actually in your job, when you are yourself, you're, you're, you're probably talking sense. So just treat it like a client, a client kind of, kind of nego negotiation or a talk or an initial meeting and like that, and you'll be fine. I really haven't seen or heard anyone, anyone a bomb at all. They've done really, really well, quite frankly. I've seen I have, it. I'll put it another way. I have no problems or we have no problem sending out, we have hundreds of brokers and we'll send each and any, every, every one of them if the opportunity comes to radio and TV. No problem there, you know. Just don't oh, eat spinach that's... and remember to comb your hair and you'll be fine. <laughs> no, so anyone obviously listening to this thinking, you know, I don't have any experience speaking, you know, on TV, on the radio. There's always things, again, be ready before you need to be ready. Actually, if you are feeling like, getting in the press would be good for your business but actually you're feeling a little bit nervous obviously practice makes perfect you have to do these things in order to even begin to get comfortable with it and to be honest you never get comfortable with it there's always a little edge and actually I think that edge helps to help you feel more composed during the interview but there are so many public speaking channels out there or programs that you can use to practice so that you can always be ready for this kind of situation I want to ask you about, um, Jay, the hashtag be the story. Where did that come from? Uh, that was the Dominic's uh, idea because we want to, to make SME small business owners, uh, we want to bring their stories out, out there and for them to be the story. So in the media, in general, it's been, uh, for example, in the financial area, it's been economists, right? They're, some, they're up there in Canary Wharf sitting in, the, in, in, the, in their office looking at Excels and, 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 and data and telling, and then they go on the media and tell you how the world is, right? And it's, we wanted to bring these, uh, you know, from real life experience, right from the coalface, bring them in, into the media. And, and we've been extremely successful We've been successful for the simple reason that most of the time, the SMEs and small business owners are really good at communicating because of the job they do, right? They understand the area and then they are not so, they're not afraid to say their opinion and a good opinion and a strong opinion makes for great media copy. Yeah. So you look at these 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 economists from the big banks or something that always start off with on the one hand this and on the other hand that, <laughs> uh, yawn. Yeah, go and have a look at some of the go and have a look at some of the comments from 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 our, our brokers who answer these news alerts. They're really you know really sharp and to the point, and they're interesting. I mean, the amount I the amount I've learned during the past three months, go editing these and reading these is 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 you, you, I, I know so much about the UK mortgage market now. It's 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 unbelievable, right? So, and and that's pure education from their 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 comments because they're clear and they're crisp, they're crisp and so forth. Sometimes they need a little bit of editing, and we can help help there. Uh, just to make it for more more kind of savvy for the me media, but the actual we don't change the meaning of anyone's uh, you know uh, their co their comments. Right? It's all about you know sharpening it a little bit here and a little bit a bit there when it requires editing. But most most of the time the the, the comments are really spot on and they're 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 highly intelligent and and highly interesting. Amazing. That's really which is why the media wants to publish them, right? It's a com constant competition for for eyeballs. People, ha you know, how do I get get people? Social media has taken so many uh, so much away from from the media, right? They need eyeballs. They need people to people to read, and people will read interesting things. Yeah, and yeah. small business owners in general tend to provide quite interesting copies. So most of them actually, you know, I'm I'm uh, I'm, I'm pretty much I'm I'm fine with the fact that they're they're all media ready already. Get in there. Stop stop yeah. stop worrying and, and and being afraid afraid of it. Go get in there, give your comments. And by the way, when you're using these newsletters, you can see comments from others who 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 quite regularly are quoted in the press. There's nothing nothing teaches you as quickly as you know falling on your face a few times. Have a go. Right? Yeah, I love that. Thank you for the encouragement. I think people needed to hear that because 
I think they can see the more seasoned pros there commenting and people that have been in the press and they might be comparing themselves thinking, oh, I don't know if I'm ready. And I know I had to give a little push to the uh, brokers that I was recommending to get on there. And they did. They, to be fair, they said, fine, Ros, I'll do it right now. You know, I'll sign up and I'll do it. And they did put their comments out. And lo and behold, they they got in the press. You know, it I kind of felt like a little bit too easy. But like you said, it is easy to get out there because your comments are necessary. You know, we want to hear from you. I'm having a bit of a Bank of Dave moment here. I don't know if you've seen the mm-hmm. film yet. But... I, I, I have because I think Bank of Dave was done many, many years ago, like as a TV program. And I saw it like long t- just after the financial crisis. And I just got a mail from a friend of mine two days ago. Have you seen Bank of Dave? And I think, is it out again? So I think they've <laughs> I haven't seen the latest one, but I, I yeah, know. The movie. Yeah. yeah, really good. Yeah, really, really good. So I feel like this is a bit of a Bank of Dave moment. Like, we don't just want to hear from the big corporates and Wall Street. We want to hear from like you. What is happening on the front line? Like, tell us what's going on. Um, a couple more questions just to, before we wrap up. One is, um, this is not just about commenting on a article. So I remember Dominic having this. I don't know if he did uh, one of his whiskey reels on uh, on Instagram where he was, yep. you know, venting or something. You know, Dominic does, and he was saying, look create a story yourself he was saying no don't just comment and wait for me to release a story you make a story so has that happened very much you know can you give us any guidance on how we can make a story and and take our story over to you or bring our story to you yeah so write a story upload it on news page we'll have a look at it and if we think it's got legs then uh then we'll we'll take it to the media simple as that yeah, but the story is uh, not like a pitch, is it? It's not like no, this is what we do no, at agency. So, More, you know. Yeah, let, let's let's say you, you, your firm has a website and you've got a blog and you're writing a blog article. Yeah, that blog article might actually be something that media would be interested in doing a feature on, or it might require editing and changing the angle a little bit or the headlines a, li- a little bit. But if if you're doing this, it comes back to where we started from repurposing material, right? Don't just dump it on your blog. Put it on news page. We'll have a look at it. We're brutally honest. If we think it's a dog, we'll tell you it's a dog, right? And we're not going to we're not going to d- distribute it. But if it's if it's great, or then if it needs editing, we'll we'll tell tell you that. But then that could be something that's turned into a feature article, and that's a full article about about your firm or what your firm is 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 doing doing, and then we're, I'm kind of uh, assuming that this will have a follow up question like what kind of subjects. So things that the media is always interested. If you're going to write a story, it's not your awards. Nobody cares. Yeah, <laughs> uh, but, but this is from a PR perspective. Okay? Yeah. If you win an award brilliant put it on social media you'll get a lot of engagement people will see and of course it is a credibility marker but do not come to us and say i've won this award can we do some media on it no we can't because nobody wants to write about it yeah so really save that maybe a local paper might do something but in general that's really super super stuff for your social media it's super for your for your website but don't come to us with 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 awards we the media is not interested but what they are interested in is case studies data trends if you remember these three things you can already come up with stories you know you start seeing something in in your job that people are interested in your clients are interested in 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 a certain thing that's a trend you're spotting there that could be a story yeah uh case study is something really unique something special special people are interested in these these kind of thing if obviously you have to get the client's uh, approval uh or or that it can be done in honestly but case studies are great um we push this all the time and we tell you get us case studies get us case studies and if if there's one thing i can put brokers on the naughty step for is you don't give us enough of those we can get you in the media with case studies all day long send us more of them and you don't right a little bit more effort i think sometimes we make a bit of a mistake with this new news alerts because we make it too easy yeah Mm. put a few hours effort into it write some something up and it doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't have to be grammatically correct it keeps guys like us in uh, in work so we'll help you out there we'll make it shine but the main thing is the idea has to come from you and the insight has to come from you. Love that. Love it. There you go. There, another piece of great advice and encouragement that, you know, you don't have to be perfect at this. There is so much support around you to help give it that boost that it needs. And I promise this is the final, final, final question, which is, Newspage is not just about financial advisors and uh, mortgage brokers, right? You have press around other subjects too, right? Can you tell us a little bit about that? 
everything. I mean, we've got artisans who 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 make candles and 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 so forth, and knit knitwear, and we've got ev everyone. The great thing about financial services is, of course, that the, the news cycle is is constant, right? So there's always something to get you in 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 the media. If you do a certain kind of product and it's a single product, it can be a little bit difficult to get you regular PR. Yeah, mm. but uh, but uh, so a vast majority of our of the coverage that we produce is is related to property. It's related to financial services. It's related to mental health, and then recruitment. Those are the the, the biggest ones. Just because the news cycles there are are constant, there's a, there, there's demand from journalists all the time for these kind of subjects. Oh, brilliant! So I think you've got seventy percent of my audience here probably quite suited to that because I came from a recruitment background. So I've got recruiters linked in with me. Um, I used to do uh, construction, so recruitment in construction. So there might be some construction people listening to this, definitely financial services. Um, but you've been absolutely amazing at encouraging people just to be themselves and made it super easy. Like it's not daunting at all. Um, no, it should be. Yeah, yeah, it does, just does not feel daunting in any way uh, other than you've just got to get over your first time and then, you know, you'll, you'll get the support from, from Jay and uh, Dominic's team. So any closing words that you want to leave any of the listeners with? You know, we've had a couple of comments saying how amazing news pages guaranteed once this live is over and more people start to wake up and watch this later as it's uh, going to be posted. There's going to be questions on here. So you might get questions after the live session, but any any way that people can connect with you and, um, and engage with you? Yeah, you can find find me on LinkedIn. You know, send me a, send me a message, send me an invite to connect. Also, e email. You can you know, I'm happy to answer any questions you you have. I think the the last thing I would leave leave you with is sign up to news page and give it a, give it a go. I mean, you've got you've got the free option, and then you've also got the premium option, which you need to pay pay a bit bit for, and you can cho choose each uh, either one. So if you're not sure, then give 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 the the free version. Uh, a world and you can test it and see how how it works and then if you want want the full thro throttle with the, all the editing help help and and so forth that premium brings along then 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 try that one and i'm happy to answer any questions you have perfect thank you again jay and if you were listening and you have questions and you're not listening to this live but you're watching the recording obviously we can't answer your questions live but do uh, drop your questions in the chat box in the comments and I'll come back to them or Jay will come back to them one by one if you tag us. So thank you again, everyone. Good morning and uh, have a good day. Thank you very much.